Good morning all you crazy people out there in YouTube land and beyond. Well, thank you very much for joining me today on this. Another glorious day. Can't beat it at the minute, can we? So yeah, the time has come. The boxes have been arriving. There's uh, a few bits and bobs that uh, have arrived for the Mighty Tiger. So in today's video, we're going to go through the installation process and the thinking behind or for the reasons why I went for this particular um, brand of uh, crash bars for the Mighty Tiger. And uh, the brand that I've gone for is the Heed. They're a full bar system, an upper bar and a lower bar all in one rather than the OE Fitment tri bars that are a two piece lower and an upper. They're good quality and there's a big price difference. Later on in this video, come back and uh, we'll go through the price difference between the Heed Crash Bars and the Triumph OE Bars that uh, you would buy through Triumph. For now, let's go to my multi-million pound workshop and we'll fit these Crash Bars. As you can see, the uh, Heed Bars came uh, really well packaged, to be fair. And uh, considering the postage was um, included within the price, I was uh, very impressed with how it all came packaged. At this point, you really do need to take your time to take care not to put any marks on the, uh, the crash bars themselves. Once you've unwrapped all your bars and you've got uh, all your nuts and bolts out, I find it easy just to lay everything out to see what you've got. At this point, you unscrew the two plastic screws that um, keep the blanks that are already put in the casings for the engine bars. There's one in the middle and one in the lower. They're only finger tight, you just unscrew them out then take the uh, top engine bolt out of the frame and uh, you replace this with the M10 times 50 millimeter bolt with the 12 millimeter spacer and put the 12 millimeter spacer in first. Okay, it would be a lot easier with uh, two pairs of hands to actually fit this bar, but it is doable with one person. And then for the bottom bolt and the uh, middle bolt you need the m8 times 25 mil bolt and the one that goes in the middle has the four millimeter spacer in hindsight i wish i'd have fitted that one before the bottom one but it is doable both ways it would just would have been easier to actually do this one first then just proceed to uh, tighten everything up don't over tighten anything just get it to where it's pinching before you move to the other side and you pretty much repeat the same process. You have to take out the top engine bolt from the frame, taking care not to lose the spacer that sits behind the frame that has to go back in. And then it's the same with the middle bolt and the, the lower bolt. You have to take the two plastic plugs out. The bottom one on this side is a little bit more fiddly because you've got your water hose and there is a cable there as well. So just bear that in mind when you're looking at putting the bottom one in not to pinch it. Remember to put the spacer back in behind the frame before you put the bolt in. With the bottom one, I found it easier just to hook it under first, locate the hole. Bearing in mind, try not to pinch any cables and move the water pipe out of the way. Then proceed to put all three bolts in and uh, nip them up. And then we move to the, the top center bracket. So the top center bracket using the two M10 25 millimeter bolts and the center bracket, attach them to both sides of the crash bar, knit them up, but then you might find that you need to just, just push on one bar to make sure they're in line before you tighten everything up and then go around every nut and bolt, make sure they're all tightened up nicely and there you have it, absolutely beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. I think they really suit the bike. They follow the lines of the, the tank and the, the radiator perfectly. And I like the fact that there's there's no uh, connecting piece across the header pipe, so I quite like that. And uh, yeah, very impressed with the quality of these bars. The difference between the Heed and the Triumph bars price-wise. So Heed are a Polish company, and uh, I bought these off eBay. They cost me 175 pounds. And uh, do you know what, for 175 quid, I've got to say the quality is absolutely outstanding. Bear in mind when buying anything from Europe, Poland, now nah, we, we're going to get stung because we've uh, obviously with Brexit and everything else. So UK Customs charged me another £50 on top of the £175 for the bars, but that still brought them in at £225. 
Now for the Triumph OE system, or their, their crash bars, just for the upper is £260 and for the lower bars is £250. So that's £510 and if I'm honest, I don't think the Triumph bars, going by the reviews that I've read from other owners, uh, I don't think the Triumph bars have the quality that these heed bars have and uh, they're just better value for money. So as I, as I said in the uh, previous video of things I want to add to this bike, uh, but I want to do it at a, a better price than what the OE parts would be. And there's definitely bargains out there. And I think the Heed really come in at a good price and you really get a good quality bar. I think they look absolutely amazing. They give you a really good level of protection. You know, we can all have the slightest spill. <laughs> you know, I've, I've dropped a bike in the garage before now, I'm sure many of us have. Uh, but you know these bars should stop expensive damage um, from the, from the radiator cows to the tank. And as you can tell from the uh, the footage from fitting these bars, it was a very straightforward process. So yeah, very impressed. I've got to say, uh, if you're in the market for a set of crash bars for any bike really, but uh, more so for the obviously the the Tiger, then definitely look at the Heed because they're definitely worth the money. So let me know in the comments below. As a heat product, is that something you've used or you put on your bike? And uh, what do you think about the quality? Initial thoughts for me is I just I don't think there's better out there for the money that I spent. I really don't. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this uh, video has uh, been informative and it's been an enjoyable watch. If so, give us a big thumbs up. Show us some love. Give us a sub. Oh, what a beautiful day. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if uh, you've any experience with any heed products and let me know your thoughts. Uh, just as a disclaimer, I did buy these heed bars myself, nobody's given them to me, nothing for free, as ever. So uh, yeah, thank you very much and uh, on that note, I'm out of here. You stay safe out there, live your best life.